Hi, I'm Pastor Jerry Gerardo with Lighthouse Christian Church, and it's a gorgeous Saturday, a little breezy, but sunny too, right here in Novato, California. It is May 7th, and I hope you're having a blessed week. Really looking forward to our worship service tomorrow. But last weekend, we had such a wonderful time with the garden fundraiser, community garden effort between Lighthouse Church and Hummingbird School, parents working together, church and school families working together and having fun with the kids on the field, selling some starter plants uh, and just having a great time in the garden. Thanks so much to Jack, uh, Brother Jack and, and Brother Julian for coordinating the efforts for the day uh, with uh, Hummingbird School and also for Marco and Pilar with support from Rodolfo and others I know putting on a fabulous barbecue. What a great scene it was to see the kids playing on the field, see us fundraise and have fun together. The Lord was blessed. We were blessed. This week on Thursday, just two days ago, was the National Day of Prayer. We had a wonderful gathering at the Lighthouse. For those that were aware who could come down from 10 to 11, we prayed together for our nation, for God's blessings, for so many wonderful things, the salvation of many, a revival in our times. Continue to pray for that. We would so love to see the Holy Spirit just touch so many more lives for Christ. We prayed for blessings of provision and protection. We prayed for the leaders of our nation to lead with God's wisdom and to know God himself if they don't. So, so many wonderful things, as well as praying for the community of Novato and our church, the Lighthouse, and the churches throughout our country. So, blessed to connect up always in corporate prayer. Thanks to those who came down and spent that time together. It was powerful. Thanks to everyone who prayed on Thursday at home or work or wherever you were for our nation, which is always important. So thankful for that. This Sunday, we're continuing with our preaching series, Beyond the Ten Commandments. It's uh, installment two. This is going to be about the Sabbath, the fourth commandment, where God set aside a day for rest and worship, a holy day. Um, and we're going to talk about the significance of that for the Israelites and what it means for us today and how Christ came, who is truly the Lord of the Sabbath. In fact, our key verses are from Mark chapter 2, verses 27 and 28. Read this way. Then Jesus said to them, the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. So the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. When Christ came, he came in fulfillment of all things, and he came to bring us an eternal rest, not just a day of rest, but an eternal rest, and also gave us the freedom and the opportunity to worship him in every moment of every day through the power of the Holy Spirit that resides within us. We're going to be covering these really important concepts that impact our life in Christ. So looking forward to that. I'm going to invite everyone down, bring family and friends. More have been coming along to the lighthouse and getting rooted in. We're so excited to see that happen. So excited to worship together each week. Tomorrow, same time, same bat channel, 1015 a.m. at the lighthouse via live stream or in person if you can make it down. We would love to see you, but we are looking forward to worshiping together. Continue to lift each other up in prayer and especially all those prayer requests that Megan faithfully forwards to us from different ones of us in our assembly and connected with the Lighthouse for specific people and things to be praying about. It is so important that we stand together, that we pray together. In fact, it says in scripture to be joyful always, Pray continually and give thanks in all things. This is our will in Christ Jesus. So God bless you guys. We love you so much. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. That was perfect.